Good afternoon. I've come up to Bone Hill Rocks on the Dartmoor National Park today, which is this tour here. Right, I must admit, I have shot this scene a few times before in the past, almost as that composition. But it's just one that I really like up here. Um, like I said, I shot it about a year ago. I will put that image up as well, just because I really like it. That was a HDR, that image, and it did look a bit fake, um, but it wasn't. It's kind of how it looked at the eyes. Um, it's just because the ground up here is really bumpy. Um, so when the sun kind of sets this direction, which it is now, um, you get a lot of this dappled light um, across the ground where it goes uh, kind of in the shadows of the bumps and stuff like that. And when you do a, a, a HDR of it, it does make it look a bit kind of crazy, a bit kind of very vibrant image. Um, but I'm really happy with it and I'm glad how it came out. I'll set up the same composition now. Um, I've got a Lee uh, 0.6, uh, sorry, 0.9 soft grad on there. Um, going to do HDRs again just because I don't want these rocks to be too silhouetted but I'm going to aim to use the centre bracket from that shot from the HDRs the normal exposure to try and get most of the image um, I don't want to use a HDR if I can get away with it but I have a feeling to get this scene to work the best I will have to do that the sun now is just going to kind of disappear or just starting to disappear but down a kind of layer of cloud um, hopefully um, in about 20 minutes, half an hour, when the sun has actually set, it will light up some of the clouds in the sky. But at the moment, it does look quite a nice image. So I'm going to take this shot. Um, I'm shooting a HDR, as I said. It's a free back bracket exposure. Shooting an ISO of 100. And it is having a... Uh, the darkest exposure is six, uh, fourth of a second, or one over four. Um, and the brightest one is one over fifteenth of a second, and that's uh, um, an ice uh, aperture of f13. So just going to focus into the rocks now, um, take a picture. What I'm going to do in this shot as well, I'm just going to do a bit of a pano because at the moment it's cutting out a lot of the image, um, a lot of the tours. It's cutting about the, the third of this kind of rock or tour to the um, right of the image. So I'm just going to pan around a bit, not too much, um, just enough to make sure I get all of that tour in there. So I've got this kind of rock to the left and this kind of rock to the right. Yeah, I'm quite happy with that image. I'm probably just going to recompose, just going to go to the left of the image more just to try and catch a bit of that sun as it sets. Um, at the moment, it's kind of getting cropped off by the rock a bit on this, on to the right. So I'll set up over there, I'll get a shot, and then I'll um, come back here in a bit when the kind of, hopefully the sky will kind of light up with a red light. And um, I'll catch up with you in a minute.
Right, the light is just starting to turn now. I don't think we're going to be in for an amazing um, pink sky or anything. So what I'm going to do is, before it gets too dark, I'm going to take a picture now. Um, another bit of a pano shot, um, same kind of composition really. I've had a look around, I've had a look around here kind of several times uh, over the years I've been up here and I can't really find much else that works up here. This is definitely the best shot I think. Um, I'm going to take a shot now before it gets too dark. You get the best of both worlds and you get a bit of colour in the sky and you also get a bit of colour on the foreground um, which is going to add a bit of interest to this kind of dappled um, kind of bumps in the scene. If I was to wait a bit later, it might get a bit more of a vibrant sky. Um, but the problem with that is also going to get dark on the foreground, which means that the image isn't going to have not as nice lighting down here. So um, pretty much similar type of thing, really. Another HDR, looking to just use the centre exposure if I can get away with it. Um, if not, a full kind of blown HDR or brackets kind of stitched together. Um, as it's got darker now, the exposure times have obviously changed. So now it's... Um, uh, an ISO of 100, I'll probably bring it up a bit just because um, it is, there's a tiny bit of wind up here. Um, an ISO 160, we're looking at um, about uh, almost one second exposure on the darkest um, bracket and about a 10 second on the, the top bracket, around about that. It's not showing me very accurately on the back of the camera at the moment. Um, that's showing at F13 again, um, in focus, focused at the rocks as about a third into the scene. Um, yeah, quite a simple shot. Again, I'll take the image. Once the image is taken, because it's getting darker, um, the cameras are going to be less accurate doing the exposure, doing the automatic metering. So it's always best to have a look at the first image. Um, make sure you're happy with them. That one looks pretty good. And then continue with the stitch. So all I'm going to do is sweep it around ever so slightly. Take another uh, three brackets. Then continue further around and take another three brackets. Right, that should give me the enough movement I've taken. So I've taken three HDRs there, three sets of brackets. Um, they're two stops apart. So I've got a minus two um, stop exposure, a correct exposure and a plus two exposure. Taken three of those, so I've got nine shots all together, which is giving me the sweep from the rock here, which you just can't see, to the, the one kind of over to just to the end of this. Just picking up a bit of colour in the sky, um, a bit of light on the foreground still, so hopefully that will come out quite a nice image. I'll stitch them together. I'll wait around a bit longer, see what, if anything interesting, does happen to the sky. Um, I think that's probably about it. I think that's all the colour we're going to get, so... Um, I might come up to you, catch up with you in a bit, just to get another image. If not, I'll um, put the images up and uh, see what you think of them. Right, that's that all done now. The light kind of improved slightly after I started vlogging um, or filming, but it didn't really get much better. There's a few streaky clouds that pick up the uh, picked up the red light, but it didn't really improve too much upon the images I had before. And the settings were much the same, really, so it wasn't really worth um, kind of adding to the vlog. So, yeah, hopefully you kind of get where I'm coming from with the scene. There's not too much foreground interest in the image, um, but I'm hoping that the dappled ground and the light and the kind of 3D effect that it gives kind of adds to that and uh, makes it a bit bit interesting. Um, it's kind of just like a hill with some tools on, but like I say, hopefully that dappled effect will make it uh, a bit better. And hopefully we've got a bit of colour in the sky this time. It's not amazing. There's no kind of clouds that I was hoping to get. 
Um, it was quite cloudy midday, but it's kind of cleared up now, really. But yeah, it's quite a cool place anyway. Um, not far from the road, easy to get to. So it's Bone Hill Rocks, which is um, kind of on the on the Dartmoor National Park, which is only a stone's throw from Widdicombe, really. Uh, if you've liked it, please um, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And any comments are much appreciated. I'm trying to mix up the vlogs a bit at the moment. I'm trying to add a bit more um, kind of filming from another tripod. I've started to use the old tripod again. Um, my microphone that I'm using now, which is brilliant because it gets rid of um, most of the wind noise, uh, is still a external mic, but it, it still plugs in via, via wire. So I've only got a kind of set range on the lead I can get away with at the moment. Um, but hopefully the sound quality has improved on this vlog. The last few have been terrible because it's been so windy when I've been there. So it's really nice to get out and not have loads of wind in your face for a change. It's still really cold up here. It's about two degrees up here now. It's absolutely freezing. So um, I'm going to head home, warm up, get this vlog edited, get it up. And uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you on the next one.